Welcome to another wearables teardown here at Adafruit. Today we're looking at the Ice Dot. It's a crash sensor for extreme sports. So you put it on your bike helmet and it can tell if you've been in an accident. It's got low power Bluetooth and pairs with an app for your phone. So if you don't check in with the phone app after a certain amount of countdown, it'll notify people on your emergency contact list. It's a pretty cool gadget and we'd like to see how it works on the inside. Here's Lady Ada to take a look at the board. So we go under the microscope and one of the things that manufacturers often do when they're going to add Bluetooth or BTLE to their product is they use a module. So you can see here there's actually another circuit board that's been soldered onto the main board and that's a Bluetooth low energy module. Um, here you can see the antenna, there's some capacitors and components. This is something that they bought for like five to ten bucks. You know, it has FCC certification ready to go, kind of works, you don't have to worry about RF stuff. They can get going really fast. Also on this side is maybe some sort of voltage regulator, a lot of test points. That means this is probably a really good design. Somebody thought ahead of time about how they're going to test this product. So then let's flip it over. Flip over. So on this side we've got a micro USB port and uh, that's what you use to recharge it because you've got this rechargeable battery. And here is that port where you can plug in the little battery, little, little removable port, which is really handy. You can pick and place that and then plug in the battery later. The battery has um, a nice protection circuit on it. Yeah, protection circuitry, awesome. 120 milliamp hour standard little LiPo. Over here, uh, we've got a whole bunch of surface mount chips and we actually looked up the part numbers ahead of time so that we could tell you exactly what they are. So this is a TI-BQ uh, model, their series, the BQ series of LiPo chargers. This is a really nice quality LiPo charger and they even have here, you see NTC and that's a, uh, a temperature sensor. So they make sure that they don't accidentally overcharge or overheat the uh, LiPo battery. It's really good design there. And then you can see that plugs in right here to the battery. And over here is actually where we've got the good stuff. So this is actually uh, the gyro that we also have in the Adafruit shop. It's the L3D20 gyro, which is an awesome gyro, triple axis gyro. And over here is a uh, LIS uh, 3DH uh, triple axis accelerometer. It's a really low cost, but very good quality accelerometer, only about a dollar. So the accelerometer plus gyro adds six degrees of motion control uh, detection. And the reason they probably wanted this is they wanted detection not only movement, which is what accelerometers are good at, but also if you twist and fall or if something gets snapped, that's something a gyro would be really good for. So that's why they have both sensors. A gyro is pretty expensive, so they went all out here. So that's the sensing part of the circuitry. So that's pretty cool. We've got some sensors that are even Arduino compatible. Uh, and then finally there's a sticker here and this is a little QR code probably for batch testing that's really good quality too. It means that they're keeping track of manufacturing so if something goes wrong with one of their sensors they can track through the manufacturing process maybe you know what went wrong um, from the end of the testing procedure back to the assembly procedure. So finally we're going to look at the other side. One thing you may have noticed that we didn't see is a microcontroller. Usually we take a part project and there's a little microcontroller, either a low cost 8051 or maybe an Atmel or something from ST. Usually there's some processor that does the sensing and audio button management and uh, you don't see that here. But these sensors are I squared C or SPI. So there has to be some sort of digital logic somewhere to take that and transform it into the Bluetooth low energy data. And actually what's cool about this is it's probably under here. Oftentimes these modules, they do the Bluetooth low energy, they also have a little microcontroller inside. And if you're looking to cut costs and also improve reliability, you can reprogram that microcontroller. So uh, let's take it apart. Okay, using our uh, professional can remover diagonal cutter, not really, you can use anything. We've pried the little metallic can, which is the RF shield, off of this. So let's look at what's here. So yeah, there's a microcontroller in there. It's the CC2540. That's a TI microcontroller, Bluetooth energy controller. Not surprising, TI kind of has this market mostly covered. So this is a pretty intense chip that also has an RF um, built into it so you can program it with the TI compiler and it also does the Bluetooth so you get like double your money I guess. This is a pretty intense piece of engineering, really nicely done. I really like this design and uh, hopefully it will also keep you safe.
For this and many other teardowns, we use the Adafruit USB microscope with its articulated stand, diagonal cutters, and precision screwdriver set. So we hope you like seeing the inside of the Ice Dot crash sensor. If there's a wearable gadget you'd like to see us tear down, post it up in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel on YouTube, and I'll see you on another Wearable Wednesday.